In Activity 8, Pulleys, students examine a third type of simple machine, the pulley. They first observe how a pulley redirects force in order to lift an object. Students then construct a simple pulley, measure the force required to lift an object with and without the use of a pulley, and finally observe that a pulley reverses the direction of applied force. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 8, Pulleys, Spring Scales, Roll of Fishing Line, and a roll of string. You will also need to provide books, meter sticks, and a pair of scissors. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 8 for each student. For each team of four students, cut one 30 centimeter length of string, one 60 centimeter length of string, and one 1.5 meters length of fishing line. Each team will also need two lengths of string, one length of fishing line, a pulley, a spring scale, a meter stick, and a book. To begin the activity, tell students that a pulley is a simple machine consisting of a wheel that rotates around a stationary axle. Show students that the outer rim of the pulley is grooved to accommodate a rope or chain. Distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 8 to each student and a 60 centimeter piece of string, a spring scale, and a meter stick to each team of four. Have each team choose a book to lift using the pulley and instruct them to measure the distance from the floor to the top of their desks. Then, tell students to tie the string around the book and use the spring scale to lift the book from the floor to the desktop. Remind the students to record on the activity sheet the force required to lift the book, the distance the book was lifted, and to calculate how much work was done. Next, distribute a pulley, a 30 centimeter piece of string, and a 1.5 meter piece of fishing line to each team. Have one team member insert the 30 centimeter piece of string through the center of the pulley and hold the pulley above the desktop by the ends of the string. Instruct another team member to tie the 1.5 meter piece of fishing line to the string around the book. Loop the fishing line over and into the groove on the pulley and attach the spring scale to the other end of the line. Then, tell students to pull on the spring scale to lift the book from the floor to the desktop. Finally, have the class record the force in newtons used to lift the book and the distance that the book was lifted on the activity sheets. Encourage a class discussion to compare lifting the book with and without the pulley. Ask students in which direction was force applied when lifting the book without the use of a pulley. The student should respond that the force was applied upward. Then ask in which direction was force applied with the help of a pulley. The student should answer that the force was applied downward. Ask students, in which direction did the book move when lifted without using the pulley? Students should reply that the book moved upward. Then ask, in which direction did the book move when lifted with the pulley? Students should say that the book still moved upward. Next, ask students, did you use the same amount of force when you used the pulley as when you did not use it? Students should say yes, they used approximately the same amount of force. Then ask, then how did the pulley help you do work? Explain that the pulley transfers force applied in a downward direction to gain an upward lift. Point out that a person can often apply more force in a downward direction than in an upward direction. Finally, ask students, what else can a pulley help you do? Guide students to understand that a pulley enables you to raise an object high above you simply by pulling downward. For example, flags are raised up on flagpoles in this manner. After students have answered your questions, instruct them to complete their activity sheets. To conclude the activity, discard the strings and fishing line. Return the pulleys and spring scales to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.